It was 1975, and I was an engineering grad student at the university. Some fellow students and I saw the Altair 8800 on the cover of Popular Electronics. Of course, I had to have one, so I saved all my money for months and sent away for the kit. It took us weeks to solder it all together. It was incredible. A computer at home, I couldn't believe it. Over the next couple years, a few of us had them, and then we heard about some other fellows at a neighboring college that had a couple, so we started a little club, and we would meet and talk about computers and look at the magazines. By 1979, a few of us in town had acoustic coupler modems. So my friend Martin would leave his Apple II on at night, and uh, we would call in and type messages to each other. Only one at a time, of course, lots of busy signals. And it was lots of fun. We were all so excited about it. So pretty soon, more and more people were getting modems and joining in on the conversation. Almost immediately, people started typing out little pictures with their keyboards. Uh, Christmas trees and happy dogs, little smiley faces, that sort of thing. There were some really talented artists on there. It didn't take long before you had the troublemakers dialing in and typing out little penises. And Martin tried to clean it up off the bulletin boards, but the naughty posts got more frequent and people got so elaborate with it. Soon it's big giant penises, and once there's even a bird sitting on a penis, and uh, even penises with caption bubbles saying the F word and such. The more Martin cleared the posts away, the more they started to appear. It didn't take long before folks were having little relationships and typing secret messages to each other. But you know, that's human nature, I guess. It was 1979 when the postcard arrived, and well, then everything changed. Susan and two beautiful daughters. I've always had my secrets. It's hard to be who you want when people have certain expectations of who you should be. This isn't who I should be, but it's something I have to do. They're all asleep upstairs. I sneak down here every night to work on my ASCII drawings for the bulletin board. I can't be seen coming out of the strip clubs or sex shops downtown, but I have this. I started doing it when I was a teenager in the early 60s. I was in the army and I was working at the radio teletype station. Sometimes in off hours we would type out funny images with keyboard characters on the terminal and send them to other stations. It was all across the radio then. One day out of the printer came a telegraph of a woman, topless with her nipples showing. It was only keyboard characters on paper, but we were floored, just stunned. I needed to see more. 
We all tried to create our own naughty images. That's always what got the most response from other stations. Who made this? Who was on the other end? You would never find out. It was really special. The anonymity of it let me become my real self. Now there's telephone modems and the whole community has moved to these bulletin boards.